So right now mine are just plain metal colored. Uh, this is the, a 2015 Mustang, just V6. And I did the calipers on my other car, 2012. And it's these were red. As you can see, I added the Mustang logo on the actual caliper. And last time I did that car, it took four, five, six hours, but that was really in a really hot and humid day. So I'm hoping today will be quicker, especially since when I did the red car, I uh, took the bracket off and everything inside of here, took everything apart, and I'll be showing you guys a quicker way to do it today, and hopefully it still works good. We'll see the results, and then you guys can try it out at home. But first thing I'm going to start doing is uh, take the wheels off. I'm going to do this side first. Uh, we'll jack the car up, get the wheels off, and start uh, prepping the paint. this in the beginning of the video but you're gonna need to, to do this you're gonna need some jack stands your jack something to get your lug nuts off with and then you're gonna need your paint now I'm going green with this you're gonna want to start with a flame proof primer a high heat primer which I have there let's get this out so we have again engine and uh, engine enamel primer so anything like that made for high heat your high heat gloss clear coat or whatever matte clear coat or satin clear coat and then your main color you should do buy about two cans to each of this and I think this was like 40 50 bucks to buy all of it so it's not that bad and it'll change the look of your car now for the prepping stage you're gonna want a couple plastic bags and then your masking tape and then you're gonna want to grab some newspaper too just in case and I'll show you guys how I had this set up to make it somewhat easier to do what you want to start with is your plastic bag, one that doesn't have any holes in it. Get one that's big enough for your rotor. And get it tucked under the brake pad and rotor that's in there. So you can see there's no gaps in between the pad and the bracket to get spray paint the rotor in case you get that. And it's tucked around the back here where you can see and on the top so you're covering your whole rotor surface because you don't want to get paint on that. Now you take your second plastic bag And that'll help cover all your hoses and extra stuff back here. You just want to make sure you're covering everything so the angle you spray at is covered. So you probably want to take one more plastic bag. We'll cover the, uh, that lower control arm maybe. All right, and for this, we want to cover all our surfaces from all our angles. So it looks like we're going to have to cover the lower part of the suspension here with another bag. We'll try. They're really helpful because they hook on a bunch of stuff. Make sure all your hoses are covered. And once you get that covered, you're going to want to take your masking tape here. Wrap it around your boots, the rubber boots. I'm talking about these right here wrap it just in your mask or your masking tape and we'll do the bottom one here now what your newspaper is going to do if you want to take a little piece of it fold it up a few times crinkle it up and put it in the hole that's in between your caliper there so it doesn't get on the rotor or inside on the pads so now we can see we're all ready here got everything blocked off nicely and uh, pretty much this job is most important part is prep work so now that we have it masked off and everything we're going to want to get the brake caliper nice and clean 
Now, if yours are rusty, mine were like rusted a little bit on the other Mustang, you're gonna to wanna to get either some sandpaper or some type of grinder bit, and you're gonna to wanna to get in there and get it all off. Now, these are pretty clean, so we're just gonna use a regular cleaner uh, just to get any brake dust or uh, my leftover plastic off. So I just have a regular degreaser here. Spray it on our rag. Two coats of this, let's be coat number one. All right, now the last two steps here, or last step is gonna be two coats of our clear. Uh, our engine enamel, high gloss, or gloss clear coat. You can pick gloss, satin, matte clear coat, whatever you want. Uh, it's just gotta be high heat. This is withstands up to 500 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, so this will keep it protected and keep it from chipping and cracking from the heat of your braking. So I hope you guys can still hear me. They're trimming and stuff outside, but uh, one thing I will recommend when you're putting the clear coat on you have to put it on really lightly because If you put it on too heavy it start you can tell it's on there It turns kind of whitish and you can tell it's kind of seeping on there So you have to make sure it's really light and make sure you stay far away So it stays even but lightly coated and you want to do two to three coats of that But once you make sure you do that because I messed it up I had to redo it But uh, if you make sure of that it comes out pretty good. So we'll take off all of this and check out how it came out. Now that's out and uh, looks pretty good. Got a little bit over spray around there, but not a big deal. Everything else seems to be coated pretty well. And I'll get the wheels back on and we'll see how it looks with the blue paint. But I think it looks pretty good right here. All right, so here we are a day later. Um, ended up fixing my plastic dip wheels and kind of got into a mess there. So it got stuck up last night. I uh, got both the sides done though. You can see here, put black lug nuts in. Front calipers. And here's some more light. I'll pull it out in the driveway and uh, we'll see what it looks like. But they came out really well. Uh, this, the second side went a lot quicker than uh, the first side. Uh, I forgot to put the center cap in, but uh, it went a lot quicker than the first side. Um, just because I think I, I when I messed up with the clear coat and stuff like that, it kind of got it pain in the butt. But uh, yeah, it's a lot easier once you uh, do your first side and don't use the clear coat. You have to do it really lightly when you're gonna use it. Um, time frame, this first side took about three hours. So you could get this whole job done in three hours in one day if you had four jack stands and you could get all the tires off at the same time. But if you only have two like I did, I had to put one side, then do the other side later. So technically it combined six hours, but it is a lot quicker uh, doing it with uh, with the uh, caliper and bracket on instead of taking it out. And as long as you do the right prep work and masking off and everything, it looks exactly the same. It looks good any either way. So here we are in the light. Uh, one thing I do will update, it only took me one can of primer, one can of clear coat, and one can of the high heat temperature paint to do all four. So if you were trying to save money, I'm gonna return them anyway, but if you wanna save money up front, it doesn't look like you're gonna need two cans at all. And uh, one last tip I realized as I pulled out, uh, put cardboard or paper or something around the bottom of your space you're working at. I don't know if you can see, it's all green on my garage floor now, which I'm sure it's not gonna go over well with my dad, but 
we'll have to fix that later i want to thank you guys for watching if you like the video i got a lot more how to's on the channel so don't forget to subscribe like the video and comment if you don't mind so thanks for watching i hope it helped you guys out